Hello and welcome to another tutorial. I, today I'm going to show you how how I set up my skin shader for my characters. This is faster than the most accurate way to do it. It is a bit of a cheat uh, it, and I only use one map, so just the diffuse map. I don't use a subsurface or a roughness or a separate like normal map or anything like that. Um, I've just found that this is the most efficient and speediest way to get the skin looking good. It's not hyper realistic, but that's not something that I am going for in my work. So if you are after hyper realism, you can use a Daz to Blender bridge and that like gives you some nice materials. But yeah, this is how I set up them straight from the import. This is how your material is gonna look like when you import a character from Daz. First thing that I do is make sure that we have a good foundation. And I don't mean skin foundation, I mean lighting. So in this scene, I have a series of lights all around. I have a big fill light here, and I have an area light also at the side, and a little bit of backlighting. If we had really bad lighting, for instance, I will just show it with a HDRI, the skin will look flat, whatever you do. So before I start tweaking the materials, or if you want to have a little bit of input, you know, you, you want to make sure that the lighting setup is good before we're even working on this. It doesn't have to be the final lighting, but at least closer to how you want it to look, because otherwise you might be tweaking the wrong settings. So let's see how fast I can do this. We go roughness around 0.1. This kind of depends. We go subsurface up, and you'll see because of this backlight that I have that the light is shining through the ear. We go specular up. Right now what this gives us is a really glossy look. Maybe this is what you're going for. That's fine, you can leave it like that. If not, I want to diffuse it so it looks a little bit more natural. I drag the color out from my texture and I type in bump and we want it inputted from the height. So it's taking the height of this map we change the strength to 0.1 and then I take the normal and put it into the normal. And there we have it. That is how simple it is. And now I would just play around with a little bit the roughness to get it how I want. Either more specular or less specular. Maybe more I'm feeling quite glossy today. And yeah, it's that easy. And all you have to do now, instead of redoing all of these numbers for the rest of your scene, what you can do is you can select this node and this node using shift as well and then copy it and then we go to the rest of the character and you can paste in these instead. So this saves you having to remember the numbers for all of those and then it just carries the settings across. That's it, all done. 